what do you say after that? Let's, thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. It's just so kind. Um, Chris, something of a hero of mine, so it means all the more. But thank you, SOAS, as well. I, mean, I graduated from SOAS a long time ago. Um, I'm not going to say how long, because it's <laughs> many decades have passed. But um, in many ways that are really important, I've never really left. Um, you don't leave SOAS. You may graduate with a good degree. You may like return your last library books and really do do that. Return your... <laughs> You might walk down those stairs for the very last time and disappear into life. But over years and over decades, as I have, you may well change. You may well adjust direction. You might falter on your route to your goals. You may have periods that truly frustrate you and challenge you. But you will, I hope, also have moments when everything falls into place. And you may one day look back, as I have, when you've long left so as, and you will look and you will feel as I have in so many, so many times and in so many powerful ways that I might have left so as, but so has, has never left me. Not just as vivid memories of a place that's constant singular voice is setting out as a kind of beacon for the propagation of knowledge and understanding of Africa, the Middle East and Asia. But perhaps even more than that, as a set of values, as a place that though the wind might blow from left and from right, although the global moral compass might quiver, it stands rock firm, steadfast in its values across time against prevailing winds it's a place where our voice, the often silenced voice, the sometimes out of favor voice, the other voice can be heard. And we must protect that. If necessary, we must fight for it as student, as staff, as alumnus. We have to find ways of fighting to preserve and for nurturing that sense of SOAS. The diversity of voice is vital for democracy. Diversity of perspective is critical for good cultural health. And greater diffusion and complexity is the global future. And we know it. But one of the few places armed to navigate the complex terrain that we see around us is this one. And so the further I've traveled, the older I've got, the more that those SOAS values have come to mean to me. And they are values that are increasingly important in our divided but ever-connected world. And so it's with enormous, enormous pride that I accept this fellowship. There's no other institution on earth that's respect, that's acknowledgement, that I could value more. And I will try my best to continue to live up to its ideals, to fight to shine the light into the dark corners, to remain open enough to learn from the quietest voices, and to try to be brave enough to question the biggest beasts and the oldest and most established narratives. And I look forward to following your careers as you light new SOAS beacons with your future endeavors. Be bold. Thank you very much.